Hello, I'm Greg Hewitt and I'm a grip. If you've come to this YouTube site, there's a good chance that you have one of two questions. What is a grip? What does a grip do? And uh, the other question might be, how do I become a grip? Um, behind me, I have some of the projects that I've worked on over the last 25 years. Um, and they vary in size and budget. Um, and it's funny how you get into this field because it, people come from all different places. Um, and it's basically a love for film that's going to put you in place to begin with. I came from a background of photography and lighting for about 15 years before I actually became a key grip. Um, and in order to break this down, there's a lot of different uh, kinds of jobs in the grip department. So what usually happens is um, the producers will find a script, and if it's a good script, uh, they'll find the money, and then they're going to look for a director. And then the director's going to look at the script and decide, well, you know, I think I'd like to have this cinematographer do this because he seems to have the kind of look that we want for this particular project. So they hire the cinematographer, and then the cinematographer uh, is in charge of getting together the camera department and also the lighting department. Um, in the lighting department, there's a gaffer who runs the electricians, and uh, they call them lighting technicians now, my bad. And uh, so those are the guys that bring out the wire and the lights and set them up in the right places for the cameraman so that they get the best possible lighting. Um, the grip department does a multitude of different things, uh, including shaping the light and working with camera movement, camera placement. Uh, we do scaffolding, we do uh, rigging off of uh, heavy equipment and uh, lighting, and we work some construction type work where we move set walls. So the key grip then usually after he's hired by the cinematographer will go out and he will find a best boy. The best boy is in charge of finding the manpower and uh, the equipment that the key grip and the, the cinematographer and the gaffer all discuss so that they have what they need to do the filming. And after that, uh, we usually look for a couple of good dolly grips. I always ask the camera department who they like because it's better to have uh, dolly grips that work well with the camera department in order to get the best results. And then there will be some grips that we hire uh, to work the floor, uh, usually three or four depending on the size of the project, maybe more. If you're lucky, you also get to put in place a rigging crew, which also has a key grip and a best boy, and is completely separate from the shooting crew because they are ahead of us doing the rigging to get things in place, the bigger rigs that need to be done, so that when we get there, we don't have more than 12 to 14 hours of lighting to do, uh, as well as the filming to do. So having a grip uh, crew as a rigging crew is very important. So over this series, what I'm going to explore are all the intricacies of what grip work is and uh, what it means and how you might become more prepared to become a grip. Um, we work with the construction department, we work with the art department, we work you know, with the production department. Now there's quite a few different departments that we work with. And quite often when they can't figure out how they're going to solve a particular problem, uh, they come and talk to the grips and we usually find a solution for whatever it is they need to do. So it can be pretty exciting. Uh, the hours are long uh, most of the time and depending on what kind of show you're doing, um, you know, you can expect to work sometimes in bitter cold or top of the day, most sun that you've ever been in. Um, so there's quite a bunch, there's a lot of extremity to, to, to being in the, in the grip department. And it's uh, difficult, hard work at times. So stay tuned with me, uh, and as we go down the line, I will give you more information on what you need to know to become a grip. It helps to understand photography and lighting if you've got those skills, but if not, it doesn't mean you can't get involved and step in and start doing um, grip work. So anyway, uh, it's about time for me to go. Uh, I have to get back to my show that I'm working on right now for BH1. It's called Hit the Floor, and I'll talk to you soon on Grip Notes.